Okay, that's head over to Chef Mark, who's joined by a very special guest today, Mark. Yep, that's right. I've got Barbara Unkovic, hopefully saying it right, in the kitchen, and we're going to cook a, new, a recipe out of a new cookbook, The Adriatic Kitchen. So what are we going to cook today? Uh, we're going to cook Croatian sweet Easter bread, or if you're Croatian, you'll call it Serenica. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> so, it's, the, so it's a sweet bread. So for Easter time, it's a very traditional. So a little, a little bit like hot cross buns, really. Like you know what we get in the UK. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Same, same, but totally yep. different. Yep. <laughs> so, so there's quite a few processes to this, isn't there? Uh, yes, and there then are. There's a few sort yes. of key stages which we're going to run you through throughout the show, uh, and then you know it's well worth it. There's a lot of sort of prep time, but it's well worth it because at the end result is absolutely fantastic, and we've got some lemoncello as well, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Now it's over to Holly. Thank you very much, Holly. Well, we are here in the Cafe Kitchen, and Mark, we're very lucky to be joined by Barbara Onkovic. Welcome to the Cafe, Barbara. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. So today we are making here, let me see if I can remember, Saranitsa? Correct. Yes, got it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And this is from the Adriana Kitchen, your book. You are quite the accomplished author, aren't you? Because you've won so many awards. How long have you been writing recipe books for? Uh, this is the first recipe book I've done. My other books are all different fiction, non fiction, short fiction. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, look, well, we're going to make something from the Adriatic Kitchen. You describe it as flash fiction. What is that? Uh, flash fiction is um, a shorter version of short fiction. So it's the most common form of flash fiction is a story that is one page long, so it's like 300 words. Okay. So it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Right, well that's exactly what we're going to do with the cooking. We've got yep. a beginning, we've got a middle, and we've got an end. <laughs> and to begin, what are we doing here, Mark? Right, so we're just going to activate the yeast. So we've just got some dried yeast, and then a little bit of warm water in there. Yeah. Okay, so you don't want to get it too hot. If the water's too hot, it will kill the yeast. Right. If it's too cold, it'll just take... Well, it probably won't even activate or take a long, 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 long time. And there's also a little bit of sugar in there, so... If you just dissolve that and you just sort of give it give it five minutes or so, you'll see it starting to bubbling up and you okay. know the uh, yeast is activated. Nice work. Right, so as that's coming up, we've got some uh, milk and butter in there. We just melted it and then it's just cooling down. So you don't want to get this too hot either because we're going to add the yeast to that and then some flour and make a mixture in here in a minute. Okay, cool. So these are all important steps that you've got to remember, but don't worry, get the recipe book, it's all in that. Um, what inspired you to, I guess, write about cooking? Um, well, in Croatia I'd looked at lots of other recipe books that yeah. were predominantly Croatian recipes and they weren't well done basically. Uh, some of them were big glossy ones but even though they were big and glossy they still weren't well done and I just wanted to create something that was simple, affordable, that a cook on any level could work with. Oh good, that's me. Really? I'm a cook on any level. <laughs> Lower end, but I'm sure I'll get through it. Okay, I was just watching out the corner of my eye there, Mark. Is he doing alright, Barbara? Is he doing alright? doing pretty good. What's, what yep. stage is he up to now? Right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start making a mix. I've just put one cup of the flour in there. Yeah. Um, into the milk and the uh, butter, the melted milk and butter. And then obviously at home, when you've got a little bit more time, wait until the yeast activates and then whisk it all back together again and then you can add it back into this mixture. So we'll just we're just obviously speeding this uh, process up now, but just wait until the yeast that bubbles up. It must be quite nice watching somebody else make it. It is, it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah. nice for you. It's yeah, like, yeah, nice. It's like, it's it's right. Right. We're just chilling right. out watching I'll, I'll, just, work. I'll just tell him off if he gets it wrong. Yep, no, good. No, you <laughs> do that, Barb. No, 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 no. Mike feels <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> That's usually me. OK, now what's this here? Uh, yeah, so this is interesting, isn't it? OK, yes. What is this one here? What have we this got? This is a uh, crystallised peel which I made yesterday. Yeah. So it's made from uh, lemon peel and sugar. And nice. it's a recipe in the book. Can I eat it? You may. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, you can make yeah. it with orange peel as well. That's really good. Um, it's a traditional thing that you'll see in Croatia, usually at Christmas time. They actually sell it in the shops and it's done up in a little... Um, Cellophane bag. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. You look kind of like sweet lollies, isn't it? Okay. Right, so you got your mixture like this. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's all incorporated, it's all in there. Yep. We want to cling film this, and then about 20, 25 minutes in a warm place, and then that yeast is going to start activating again. So then that's the second rise, isn't yep. it? It's also important to make sure there are no lumps in your mixture. I am cool. But okay. there are no lumps in there, <laughs> so they look very good. Thanks, <laughs> <Good job. laughs> <laughs> 
No, it's Brilliant. looking good. It's actually looking really good. Uh, so we'll come back a little later on because I want to find out what you know what makes Croatian food. What do you think the difference is? We don't have to answer that right now. We'll come back. We'll do that very soon. We'll show you how to make the rest of this straight after we catch up with Holly. We are in the kitchen. Uh, we are making saranitsa. Is that what I said yes. right? Oh, good. No, yep. I like saying I'm that. That's good. Off now. Um, <laughs> this is traditional Croatian. So tell me a little bit about your history. So you're, you, you, are you a New Zealander or Croatian? Mix of both. Uh, I was born in uh, New Zealand. Yes. So my father was Croatian, but yes. he was born in New Zealand. My mother was English. Um, my mother was a Beardsall, which um, means she was a cousin to D.H. Lawrence. No way. Yep. So wow. I like to think that I got my writing ability from D.H. Lawrence and my brother who did the illustrations in the book, I think he got his artistic ability from D.H. Lawrence. You are very clever and I noticed the dedication you dedicated this book to your lovely husband Dennis. I did. Putting up with you. <laughs> 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 Which is nice. And, and he's very well known for his coffees, isn't he? He is. Yes. So, what, what, a, what a, I'll tell you what, we've got coffee, we've got good food. Dennis, there you go. Thank you, my friend. Good work. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you got some competition there, Jesse. Hope your coffee's good. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, you've been working away here, Mark, on this. It's starting to smell really good. Yep, so, so the yeast has been activated about 20 minutes, so it's sort of puffed up a bit. Knock it back. We've put the sugar and salt in there, and we'll just stir in through the egg yolks at the moment. Nice. So this is going to be quite, I guess, flavoursome and rich and beautiful. What is it about Croatian food, you think, that sets it apart from everyone else, Barbara? Um, is there something you can pinpoint? Just a lot of different flavours that are all melded together, like lots of things have uh, olive oil, garlic, and in the case of this, there are all these spices. So you'll notice as he pours all these in, you'll begin to smell it as he actually stirs them in. Beautiful. Um, I'm a bit like Some Jamie best. Oliver in that when I create a recipe, if I use spices in it, I, I use them. Right. I mean, there's no point in wasting your time and just putting half a teaspoon in. Put a decent teaspoon in and be done with it. Yeah, that's know? like mark and butter. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You're going to use butter, it. let's use butter. And you're right, that's so fragrant, Can you isn't smell it? it? Yes, beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. Well, that's partly the lemon zest and orange zest. They're really strong. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah. I was going to put the in flour fact, in. And, and talk us through this, because this is great. Because you actually made this, didn't you? Lemon yes, cello. Yes, yes. Uh, the recipe for limoncello is actually in the back of the book. Okay, it, good. It will, if you want limoncello, you need to start making it about two weeks ahead. Okay, good tip. Because you've got to soak the lemon peel in vodka or whatever alcohol right. you use okay. in a dark cupboard for about 14 days. A dark we, cupboard, yep. Yeah, before okay. you can actually make limoncello. Okay. Um, that batch there I actually made at Christmas time. Um, I made it for my family and there was that little bottle left I over. I love the little bottle. <laughs> yeah, there was a really quirky hardware store in Cortula, a little old man and he sold the most amazing things and one of them was the selection of these incredible bottles. Nice work. Well, there you go. So I can't leave it with you guys. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> I'll just drink what's in it and I'll give you the bottle back. Um, but So the recipe to make that is in the back here. And this book, you've broken it up into seasons too, haven't you? Which uh, is fantastic. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yep. So yep. there you go. It's every year, uh, the whole through the year, you can get these recipes. And Exile Publishing is where you can get hold of the book, exilepublishing.co.nz. So how's Mark going? Is he going all right? Yep. OK, good. <laughs> God. Is it looking like it should? Right, so I've not added all the flour, so just add it stage by stage because you're looking for the, uh, you know, the right sort of um, density and wetness of the dough, aren't you? Yeah. And you want it quite wet as, as opposed to um, sort of Yeah, you do. So of you've got to actually... It's a bit hard. He stuck it to the bench, but that's OK. Right. So um, you can fix as it. You, as you need it, it yeah. will get... Um, to the stage where you probably won't need to keep actually putting flour on it. So your kneading technique is to flatten it, yeah. peel of your hand, and then fold it in. Okay. So you like in, that. In, back yep. into the centre. And don't be kind to it. Beat it. Okay. It'll be all the better. <laughs> so, uh, so about ten minutes. Um, ten minutes by yep, hand. Yep. So you can see, and as you as you move on with kneading it, it will stop sticking to the bench, and you'll get to the stage where you actually don't need to put any flour on it. So you can see how it goes round in yeah. the so circular. Yeah, so nice, soft, yep. stretchy, shiny. Yep. See, it's changing already. Yep. Yeah. So and then we want to pop it into a bowl, sort of a lightly yep. oiled bowl. Yep. And you want to oil the dough as well, don't yep. you? Yep. Nice work. Wow. So just form it into a into a into a mound like that. 
Right. So it's Looking ready to go. Good. Oh, but imagine you've needed it for 10 yeah, minutes. You yeah. are good, aren't you? Good teamwork going on here. Okay, we'll come back. We'll finish this off a little later on.